asked me in your recent newsletter, you said that you were you were speaking at a panel and an investor asked you a question, uh, how do I correctly assess risk of a given in, uh, investment to the current market environment? And you said this, you said you can both fiscal and Fed policy, including ZERP, factor into that view of yours. Well, I mean, ZERP is not a U.S. policy, it's a global phenomenon. The way you sum up kind of the, uh, the impact of all of this is that when you're looking at, at how to price risk and how to accurately price things, you say the price is wrong because of all these distortions. It's a play off the game show. The price is right, which turns out is, was a U.S. and a U.K. phenomenon. So let's talk about an example of some of this wrong pricing, okay? We have a chart. This is from your... And this is, but this is, this is herd mentality. This is, this is fear and herd mentality. And people... 2008 really... ...for value. Is there any way to even begin to uh, ascertain what would be the their fair value without this herd mentality because looking at tips you mentioned that CPI people don't trust that many people don't believe that accurately reflects inflation so where do you even begin well that, that's it that's the action of events well <laughs> Sanity returning, frankly. I mean, so would you say that a phenomenon like uh, the Swiss National Bank pegging its currency to the euro and printing, printing, printing like crazy, but the government being able to borrow it at negative yields and in sucking today at central banks bend the laws of physics? So my question, are heavily indebted governments as well as these central banks with their easy policies, are they essentially borrowing stability from the future in order to forestall volatility today? That's Being based in Singapore, are the U.S. elections a big deal to people in Asia? Do they care? Does it matter? Well, I think they, I think part of that, too, is uh, the government debt and the deficits. I mean, that's a concern that I hear from so many people. How is that viewed in Asia, especially in a region that funds so much of the U.S. borrowing in terms of the governments, at least? Well, the interesting thing about the volatility and people's concern about volatility after the elections, one thing we saw, the speculative long exposure in the 10-year Treasury more than doubled in the past week to the highest position since March of 2008. Does that have any of you looking to farmland, headed back to the land? <laughs> tell me, tell our viewers quickly why. And dirt is like black gold. Maybe you'd agree. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on this. This is the store to the space-time continuum, and I'm not even kidding. All right, but everything Dimitri. was already about now, 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 yeah. and everyone wanted everything yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now they wanted it the day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, because interest rates are so low that we are sucking duration out of the of the space-time continuum, not just out of the markets, but out of the future. Okay. All right, so that's why everyone's <laughs> like, yeah, it's true. It's, it's true. Everyone's psyched up. Here's that guy Nate Silver has become a celebrity now. Here's the problem I have with this argument. Mm -hmm. News organizations have always tried to get the information out quickly and fast, and now they're just adding to their resources because they don't want to totally have a faux pas like they did in 2000, which was about speed, too. So mm. we didn't have negative interest rates. That's we didn't not, have 0% interest rates well, in first 2000. Of all, I, so I don't get why there is this... Uh... I take issue with that. First of all, I take issue with that <laughs> entirely. We're breaking their addiction with TV. It's a pacifying medication. I think it's also interesting that what's happening is that the budget side, the, 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 the money side is what's driving people to cut the cord. They're, they're, it's not so much that they don't... mentioned that we're on YouTube and Hulu, both online. Video streaming, too. We're on to it. All right. With that, that's it for our show today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to come back tomorrow. In the meantime, you know you can follow me on Twitter at Lauren Lister. You can like our Facebook page. You can watch any show you missed at YouTube.com slash Capital Account. Watch us in HD on Hulu. Uh, and from everyone here, thank you so much for watching. Come back tomorrow and have a great night.